Amber Heard has had her share of ups and downs in the relationship department and she's been linked to many other high profile individuals. Amber, who has said in 2010 she doesn't label her sexuality, has been in relationships with both powerful men and talented women, ranging from Elon Musk to artist Tasia Van Rie. And aside from Johnny Depp, the actress has been linked to another surprising A-lister. Since her highly publicized divorce from Johnny Depp, as well as the lengthy court trial they dragged each other through, there's been a lot of curiosity about Amber Heard's love life past and present. These days, the 36-year-old actress has a one-year-old daughter, but she was born via surrogate, and Amber raises her on her own. Heard was married to Depp from 2015 to 2017, and had come out as bisexual years before this, and had explained in a late interview why she decided to come out at that time, saying, Well, I always say in response when I hear someone comment about me coming out, I think it's funny because I was never in, in part because I was very stubborn. I guess, and also in part because I just didn't feel it was wrong. I was always out, I was an activist, I went to protests, I refused to not bring my partner at the time, but no one ever asked me about it. And an outlet specifically asked me who I was there with that night and who that person was to me, and I just answered honestly. The way I always answered had there not been a tape recorder on me. Heard also discussed how coming out had affected her career and said that it was difficult because it attached a label to her, and several directors reportedly then questioned if she could play a straight woman in a romantic lead after that. Regardless, Amber was never the type to let others dictate who she could love. Over the years, Amber has been in a handful of public relationships and linked to other high profile celebrities aside from Johnny. What's going on guys, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, and today on Famous Entertainment we're talking all about Amber Heard's dating history, and I guarantee there's a few people on this list you probably never even even knew she was romantically linked to. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. One of the first of Amber's boyfriends we're aware of was Alejandro Gomez Monteverde, the Mexican filmmaker, whom she was linked to in 2004. While it was a brief fling, Alejandro claimed he got to know Amber during that time and had come back to her defense a few years back about accusations she was facing with the Johnny Depp situation. He assured that Amber wouldn't be the type to lie about the aggression Depp had set upon her, explaining, I doubt she's lying, that's a serious accusation. You can really damage someone's reputation. I'm sad for her, I want the best for her, so I'm sad that she's going through this. I don't wish this on anyone. So I know about her, she is a good human being. The two met in Austin, Texas and reportedly only dated for a week, but when Amber moved to LA, he helped her get settled. He added, she didn't know anyone, so I was there for her, I helped her find a place to live and introduced her to some friends. We both moved to LA pursuing our careers, I did my first feature film, and then her career just took off. It was like a rocket. In 2005, Amber dated Mexican actor Valentino Lanou. This was when Heard was just starting out in her Hollywood career and only 20 years old, while Valentino was about a decade older than her and already established. The pair met through mutual friends and dated for 10 months before splitting up. One of Valentino's co-stars and friends had recalled spending time with Amber back then and indicated that she never showed any signs of a violent personality and to him, she was a really good person. From 2006 to 2000. In 2007, Amber was dating the lead singer of the country group Midland, Mark Weistrach. While it didn't work out, the pair was spotted again going out to dinner together after Amber had called it quits from Depp in 2016. They were seen leaving a restaurant together in Los Angeles, and Amber was all smiles as she chatted with Mark outside the restaurant before hugging and going their separate ways. Okay, this next one may have been one of Amber's stranger romances. In 2007, she was linked to actor and director Crispin Glover, who's about 20 years Amber's senior. You might recognize him as the elder Marty McFly from Back to the Future, and Amber and Crispin were rumored to have dated in 2007. That same year, there may have been some overlap as Amber was also linked to her co-star from the film Never Back Down, Sean Ferris. These two looked just as good on screen in that movie 
as they did showing up on the red carpet together and in pics of them cozying up together. But we don't really know too many details about their relationship. The two reportedly dated for about a year and then Amber began moving up in Hollywood. Another co-star Amber was rumored to be dating was in 2008 when she was linked to Austin Nichols who she acted with in The Informers. It was also said that an affair may have went down between them during filming of the movie. It was also said that an affair may have went down between them during filming of the movie which was in 2007 and no one has since denied it. Next up is a significant relationship of Amber's and it was when she dated photographer and artist Tasia Von Rhee from 2008 to 2012. In fact, the infamous trial Amber is in the middle of right now has brought attention to this past romance even further. The two were together for a handful of years in a domestic partnership, with Heard even changing her last name to Von Rhee at one point. The romance was brought up in court when Depp's legal team questioned Amber about her arrest for reportedly abusing her ex Tasia in 2009, which she had denied. At the time, Heard was arrested by Seattle police after the couple got into a rageful argument where she allegedly struck Tasia on the arm. Despite being arrested, she didn't end up being charged. In 2016, Tasia came forward and claimed the actions were misinterpreted during the argument saying Heard was wrongfully accused and the cops involved over sensationalized the incident. Pair officially separated in 2012 and at that time Heard reinstated her birth name. Of course, after this relationship, the love story with Amber and Johnny Depp would begin. After filming The Rum Diary together in 2011, reportedly Amber and Johnny became closer. The following year, they began living together and in 2015, they married at a private ceremony at their LA home. Only a year later, Heard would file for divorce from Johnny and four days after after doing so in 2016, she also obtained a temporary restraining order against him, alleging that he had physically abused her during their union. At the time, Depp denied the allegations and the two reached a settlement when Heard withdrew the restraining order and she also requested her spousal support for $50,000 per month. The ex-lovers released a joint statement at the time saying, Our relationship was intensely passionate and at times volatile but always bound by love. Neither party has made false accusations for financial gain. In 2017, the divorce was finalized. However, in the years since, there have been numerous accusations of abuse, infidelity, and more from both parties. And as a result, there have been intense court battles, as well as the current defamation trial. Speaking of rumors of infidelity, another rumored celebrity romance that was brought up during the heated Depp vs. Her trial was about her and actor James Franco. It was reported that Amber had James over the night before she filed for divorce from Johnny and in court she was asked about this since Johnny had testified that he thought that Hurt and Franco had an affair at some point. Depp's lawyer asked her about him coming over that evening and played elevator surveillance footage of the two with the timestamp of May 22, 2016 at about 11 p.m. on their way up to Amber's penthouse. James is seen in the footage at one point resting his head on Hurt's shoulder as she appears to place her head on his. They then exit the elevator together. Amber confirmed that it was him in the video and explained about the situation with James. He was my friend, he lived next door, quite literally next door, and I frankly had exhausted my support network with my usual friends and was happy to welcome as much friendship at that time as I could possibly get. Amber and James were never actually an item and were reportedly close friends who also starred in two movies together, one of which was Pineapple Express. Amber claimed that Depp would often get jealous and accuse her of having affairs with her co-stars like James and didn't want her to continue acting many times. Next up, another high profile individual Amber dated came after her divorce when she began dating Tesla owner and multi-billionaire Elon Musk. There were rumors that they started dating before Amber split from Depp but they denied that was the truth and it also began after Musk's divorce from ex Tallulah Riley. Heard said she started dating Elon after meeting at the 2016 Met Ball Gala which was held a few weeks after she had a major fight with Johnny that that resulted in their separation. Elon and Amber were together for a while, but then they broke up and five months later, they got back together. The two parted ways for good in February 2018, only months before Musk began dating musician Grimes. Around the same time, Amber was also linked to Cara Delevingne. The two were first linked by The Sun in 2016 after they were photographed in London together while filming their 2018 movie, London Feel. 
adults. They had been seen at the hotel loads of times and are always very giggly and thick as thieves out until the early hours, which is what a source told the newspaper at the time. Nothing was ever confirmed, but they were photographed together several times. And at a court hearing in 2020, Amber was accused of having a threesome with Elon Musk and Kara while she was still married to Depp. This was claimed false by all. Fast forward to March 2018 and Amber was spotted on a date with another Hollywood star. This time it was actor Sean Penn. He may have been just a rebound, but the two were seen showing up to a string of Oscar parties together and then Amber was spotted sharing a late night romantic date with Penn where they were flirting. Following this, Amber was briefly linked to some others including art dealer Vito Schnabel in May 2018 and film director Andy Muschietti in 2019 who she was seen kissing in public. Amber's last known relationship was with cinematographer Bianca Booty, who were spotted kissing in 2020 in Palm Springs, California, and Bianca was also seen by her side when she attended the Royal Courts of Justice in London give evidence in Depp's libel case against the Sun newspaper. It was reported that Booty and Hurd separated in 2021 after their relationship fizzled out, spending months apart due to their work schedule. Well, there you have it, the unofficial but extensive dating history of Amber Heard. Hopefully after this video you can put some of your curiosities to rest about which of her exes was just a rumor and which she actually shared a romance with. At the moment it doesn't appear that Amber is dating anyone and she's been busy taking care of her daughter Una Page Heard, who she welcomed via surrogate on April 2021. Well be sure to let me know your thoughts down below or if there are any of Amber's exes I might have missed. Thanks for tuning in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!